Hey everybody, welcome back. One Eyed Sniper here, and we're doing a Let's Play for XCOM 2. Alright, so we did a retaliation mission last time. We got some experience in on our Spark, uh, which he sorely needs. His aim is terrible. Um, but we also managed to kill the Archon Ruler, so I want to start that research as quickly as possible here. Archon King Autopsy. Alright, so five days. Hopefully we'll get a new piece of armor, and I think... Basically, uh, it'll be something with a rocket pack on it, some some ability to fly. I have always been particularly fascinated with this species, ever since the first time I spotted one during my travels. Although I had seen the biomechanical horrors deployed by the aliens during the initial invasion, these creatures appear to be something as entirely possessing a certain flair not typically found amongst the aliens, I found this creature to be of great intelligence, masked by the incredible hold of the Elders. Alright, so I don't know what that means for the DLC going forward. Um, I don't know if we're done. Dr. Valen apparently is still alive, so uh, we could run into her. And I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of ultimate um, ending for it. So either some final creature we didn't know about, something like that. I've started to wonder how the advent it meant but I guess we'll find that out eventually. Okay, we can get more supplies. Might not be a bad thing. Um, basically, I want to wait until we get the autopsy done, and then um, we'll probably go on a mission, and I'm thinking I need to go on this mission right here. Uh, the black side data coordinates. But let's finish building this relay tower. We're almost done with that. For sector 16, Indonesia. Get some people recovered from their wounds. Okay, so Michonne now has fuse. I can't wait to use this. Basically, we're supposed to be able to explode any or blow up any explosives that uh, remotely that uh, Advent's carrying. So that's like an awesome ability. Sounds like. Uh, what's left for Michonne? I think we can go Solace. I think that seems like a good one going forward. I can't imagine that the... the greatest psionic ability of Advent is going to be the Sectoids. There's got to be something bigger coming up. Um, so let's try Solace. That could help out. We already have that on one of our soldiers as well. Alright, so they increased our income by 75. Uh, let's see, we can either pick up these supplies or we can make contact. I say we make contact. That'll give us the fire when ready, uh, which will create all proving ground. So ammo, grenades, and weapons instantly. So that seems like a good skill to have. It would have been great to get that one early on, I imagine. For the Australian sector. I should also stop by the black market and try to pick up uh, more supplies, sell off some intel. We got plenty. Attempting to establish local region. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Alright, so we got skull mining. Let's see if there's any new projects we can... Uh, more heavy weapons, experimental armor. Alright, let's keep looking into some... Actually, let's go with more grenades. More ammo. Ammo was really good as well. Let's, well, let's do one of each. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. Hopefully we don't get something we've already had. I don't know how many possibilities there are either. Okay, Commander of the Islands of Officer Chief Victory, we need to follow their plan before we run out of time. Alien facility coordinates locked in, Commander. Okay. So we got the doom clock in. I guess I probably shouldn't wait for this to finish. Well, I got time, right? That'll leave us with three days. I can fly over. We'll attack that one, most likely. I assume that these would bring it down, but I don't want to risk that uh, in not bringing it down. So let's finish making contact. 
think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. Actually, that's what I wanted to complete. I don't think I'll wait for making contact. I have come to firmly believe that Dr. Valen's unbridled ambition, left without the commander to maintain some semblance of reason, led her to pursue a path of research that was as misguided and regrettable as my own service to Advent. Alright, so we got the Icarus armor. So we just gotta make sure we don't fly too close to the sun. It's an interesting name for that. Uh, the modified Archon, variant known to Dr. Valen as Alpha, has not only been genetically altered, but also upgraded accordingly with equipment directly tied to its unusual abilities. Again, I have, I have to question the logic in providing enhanced offensive capabilities to an otherwise hostile alien species, even if Valen had intended on turning these creatures against their former masters. Although I had little exposure to the rudimentary biomechanical predecessors to the modern Archon, I can say with certainty that Valen's Alpha is no doubt the most physically and technologically advanced of any of the aliens' earlier renditions of this species. From our field reports, it seems the creature had a terrifying propensity to seize upon its target before rapidly climbing in altitude and then dropping the helpless victim. I believe our troops have done a great service in eliminating this particular threat. Okay, so that... We saw the Archon King picking up our people. Uh, I never got to see him drop them. So, though when you shoot him, he does drop them and they don't take damage that time, which that, that seems strange to me, but that's fine. Okay, the Icarus Armor. After careful examination of the deceased Archon King, it is feasible to construct a set of armor which incorporates his unique jet propulsion system. And we can get a new lead on a facility. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Not that we really need to. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to finish making contact. There's no point in uh, tempting fate. we got a facility here. We've got one there. Uh, are those the only two facilities? Oh, one I can't get to yet. I haven't been to North America at all. Okay, uh, this one will knock off two blocks, I believe, so let's take that one. And what do we got going on here? Heavy mech, elite lancer, elite shield bearer, gatekeeper, codex, and elite troopers. Alright, the gatekeeper is problematic. The thing is awful. Um, so I'm definitely going to need blue screen rounds. And this is Operation Ghost Brother. So I am not going to screw around. We're going to be taking uh, all our senior people because we need this mission to be successful. So just a quick little jump over to Brazil. All right, let's set up our team. The mech is going to be staying behind. He is not currently, anyways, one of my best people. All right. All right. Grimes, you're coming. This should be really good against a mech. Uh, let's pick our soldiers and then I'll worry about armor. Meltdown, come on. I'll take Schofield 2, we can do our healing. We can take Bauer. And Michonne is going to come with us. She's uh, pretty much a badass at this point, I believe. Okay, and... I'm thinking another Grenadier. Um, since they're both the same rank, I'll go ahead and take O'Neill, because I like him. I do not like... Uh, Big Nasty. Mills. He's, he's garbage. Okay. Bauer, we already know what armor you're going to be wearing. Let's give you Laser Bunny. You're going to take the axes, of course, and the Rage Suit. And I'll give you the Plasma Blaster as well. I'm wondering if I go ahead and uh, Talon rounds, yeah, that's that's gonna be where you use. I was thinking giving the blue screen rounds, but uh, but now I'm kind of thinking maybe I should take one of our sh a sharpshooter, but I guess we'll be all right. I guess we don't need a sharpshooter with us. We may still be injured, anyways. Let me see. Yeah, Reese is just a sergeant, so let's. Let's stick with our... Oh no, not, not that. 
One Sire Operative is more than enough for me. Alright. Uh, I'll give you plus one. We can give you the serpent armor. No, we're not going to use that. Why would I give him that? Uh, let's take a look at the... Uh, do I have to buy the... Uh... Okay, so I didn't just get one of the... The Icarus suit. I have to, have to buy it, huh? That's, that's a little disappointing. Um, Alright, we'll give you the exosuit. No, no we won't. We're just going to give you your warden armor. I'm going to go acid bomb for you. Get two of those. And you can have the... I don't want to give you the blue screen rounds. Maybe I do take... A, should I take a frost bomb with me? Let's give you the tracer rounds. You're junior. You can. Your aim isn't as good as some of the others. Uh, let me see if I have to build that Icarus armor. No. Do I have to research it or? Okay. Well, let's let's keep going down the line here. All right, Michonne, you're gonna get the bolt caster. Maybe I give you the serpent armor. The frostbite, I haven't had it work too often. It's always the wraith suit. Um, that doesn't seem very useful either. I think you'd be better off with an exosuit. Yeah, with the rocket launcher. Give you the inc actually you yeah incendiary bomb. Someone else will take the EMP. Schofield, we need to equip med kit for you. Um, we'll go Deathbringer. War armor is probably fine, and you're also going to take the mimic beacon. And I'm not going to worry about trying to skulljack anyone. Um, I will later, but not right now. Alright, you can have once more. We're going to take the war suit. We're going to give you the EMP. And blue screen rounds. And last but not least, Grimes. What do we want to give you? Uh, I think the exosuit will do just fine for you. And I think Mimic Beacon's in order. Oh, we already gave that out. Okay, um, maybe Frost Bomb, just as an emergency. Okay, yeah, I'll have to look into... Maybe I have to go into the Proving Ground in order to get the Icarus Armor. If that's the case, uh, I'll do that in the next... Not the next episode, the one after next. Because we're going to go on Operation Ghost Brother in the next episode. I hope you guys join me for that. Uh, we've got a lot of people with Guardian, which is... could be pretty spectacular. Well, there we go. One, two, three, four people with Garden, Guardian. So we could have some pretty devastating Overwatches um, going on here. Schofield is the best one for it because he has... I think he'll take an Overwatch shot no, not Schofield. Who does it? Someone will take an Overwatch shot on um, all attacks, and I've actually thought it was Schofield. Yeah, okay, covering fire. So, anyways, I babbling on. Okay, guys. Uh, so, join me next time for Operation Ghost Brother. Uh, thanks for watching. I knew you have a choice in where you watch your XCOM 2 Let's Plays, and I thank you for choosing a one-eyed sniper. Peace out, everyone.